Hello and welcome to another episode of Mid-Island Custom Diecast. My name is Evan, and today is the first Gaslands build for the Three Blind Mice, hosted by Jim Silva. Please check out all of their YouTube channels linked in the description. Uh, so we've got the 62 Volkswagen Beetle here, and we've already drilled, tapped, and put the screws in. I'm going to take it all apart, we'll put the wheels aside. Uh, interior we'll keep, we're not going to do much with that. Um, windshield with most of my Gaslands builds gets tossed away. And there's the body. Uh, so first things first, we'll put it in the stripper. I like to start fresh with all my builds. Uh, we'll take care of some casting lines. Anyway, we will, yeah, let's get into it. If you like what you see, please remember to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications of all future videos. So here's the casting out of the stripper. And uh, you can see some of that pink paint left over. So we just hit it with the a couple of different wire wheels on the rotary tool. And just making sure to get all the paint out of the little nooks and crannies uh, as we're doing it uh, trying to take note of any casting lines that need to be filed off I know it's a gas lens build and you know the paint finish maybe doesn't matter as much as some other builds uh, but I really hate casting lines I think they look awful and uh, so we take care of them anyway so that's where these needle files come in uh, this beetle casting head some pretty uh, bad lines across the front of the hood and the fenders you can see it right across over the headlight spots there uh, so we take a, a just a little selection of needle files and work away this a um, little bit of video but man I probably spent an hour or more filing this car and uh, you know it, it turned out pretty good, and uh, it's just a nice, enjoyable thing. Throw on a podcast or some music or whatever, and uh, yeah, we got it done. So, uh, also had some casting lines along the back. These ones were a little more challenging to get without filing off the tail lights, but we got there in the end. Now, here comes the uh, first of the modifications. I hit the center of the headlights with the center punch and we're just going to drill them drill them out here um, with so we can put some uh, little electric ferrules in there and here's the other headlight getting drilled out All right, so here's the uh, ferrule I was talking about. I've got a bunch of different sizes in the little baggies you can see there on the top left. And so we'll just push those in through the holes. And pop a little glue on it. And this is, uh, I mean, you know, I guess it's open to interpretation what you might think it is. Guns, flamethrowers, whatever. You know, let your imagine take you there. So we've got it all glued up. And we'll move on to the next thing. So I've taken some uh, drywall taping uh, tape, seam tape, and uh, put that in the windshields. And done a little ram bar at the front. And now we're just taking apart this... Um, El Camino thing and I try and you scavenge some parts even though you can see I've got a bunch of parts I like to just uh, I'm never gonna build this uh, do anything with this little rocket powered El Camino so I like this um, this little hose setup thing that came on it uh, so we spent a little time cleaning up all the bits and pieces sticking off of that now we're just trying to figure out where to put it um, I didn't really have a clear direction uh i didn't wasn't so sure about a bug 
for a gas lens build really um <laughs> but i think you know we got there in the end that's where we ended up gluing it to the hood and the hoses go down to the fenders took that skull off of a um off of a bone shaker and glued that to the back and then i took this um this acrylic nail gel uh just to um it's just way stronger than uh than the super glue and i was concerned that it was going to well, it did snap off once when I was trying to fit the base back on the casting. So I filled up the inside of the the bone shaker uh, skull and uh, I just made sure it was uh, firmly attached to the base. Now at this point, we uh, took some wheels. You can see I've done a bunch more modifications with an antenna and a light thing and some... Uh, armor there's the wheels off of i believe i took them off the uh the predator van uh, i just thought they looked uh looked a little mean there's the skull now on to some detail painting i guess we will uh start with the the rambar uh, painting it in a, a metallic gray color from tamiya uh this is a pretty nice color i didn't want to go with too many chrome accents so this is a nice uh nice little metallic color to go with painting the skull with the same metallic gray and then of course uh the details on the bottom of the chassis there uh, i've been watching a lot of uh, miniature warhammer painters on YouTube lately, uh, not that I'm into that, but uh, I, those guys are such amazing painters, and I uh, figured that uh, they paint small things, and so do we, so and so do I, so I could pick up some some pointers, and I've found that uh, a lot of that sort of skill um, translates to what we do here in this hobby. Anyway, there's the base all painted up. Uh, we're going to add some weathering to it. So, the Citadel Typhus Corrosion, and uh, I started off with this uh, sort of stencil brush, I guess, and it uh, worked okay, but we'll switch it out. I didn't seem to put on too much or something, I don't know. So, after the uh, Typhus Corrosion, we move on to the Rise of Rust. And uh, so I just seen, uh, saw Keith from Outlaw Speed Shop mix up a slurry of this stuff. And uh, unfortunately that was after I had done all of the weathering to this build. So we'll, give, we'll be giving that uh, wet application of the Rise of Rust a try on the next build. But for this one, we use the dry brush technique. And uh, you know, it turns out fine. It's uh, the way I've been doing it for a while. And uh, so anyway... Uh, works out nicely uh, we just uh, apply it to all the areas that you know I mean it's a wasteland gas lands build so it's I figure it's gonna be pretty rusty all over so we painted the whole body black um, and now we're just going and we've done the um, uh, this is chrome the the tubes and stuff I put did some chrome on and uh, now we're just putting the null oil over some of the metal accents. And we painted the light orange and these little tanks orange. Uh, now I'm just throwing a little... Uh, this is a Citadel paint. I'm not sure what it's called. It's sort of a slimy green. Uh, I didn't really think about what these tanks would have been holding. But uh, obviously some of this slime has, has oozed out and splashed out here. We'll just use a little toothpick and uh, splash it on around and we'll do some tail lights and uh i skipped a lot of the weathering here but um uh, i think i wanted to leave a little bit of a surprise for how it turned out so here's all the parts you can see i painted the interior and the body's all done up so as i'm putting this back together let's have a little look at what we started with 
the 62 VW Beetle from Matchbox. And before we see where we ended up, just another reminder to check out my Instagram and Outlaw Speed Shop and uh, check out the hashtag skid2021 for updates and the skid build and all the participants there. And now let's take a look at where we ended up. So uh, there's the uh, the 62 Beetle Gaslands edition for the first ever three blind mice Gaslands build hosted by Jim Silva. I want to thank Jim and the rest of the guys for putting these builds on. And a big thank you to all of you uh, watching and subscribing and leaving comments please subscribe if you have not and tell all your friends and uh, we leave you with a few glamour shots and we will see you on the next one